What is going on guys, Carson Sure 99 here. This is gonna be a what's inside of my machine on the Oakmont One Mission Claw Machine. If you guys have this, it's a great machine. Um, I got this for a fair price from my bowling alley vendor. Um, but yeah, let's just show you what, the guys the inside of the machine and stuff like that. So you got your standard start and drop claw uh, buttons right here. You got your credit and time uh, right here. It's at 25 cents apply. I'm gonna show you guys how to change that in a minute. You got your uh, standard traditional bill acceptor coin mechanism right here. Um, this uh, locks the machine and opens up the machine. So you can lock it. I mean, you can close it. So, you know, stuff like that. But if you want to open it, you just pull it out and unscrew it. So, this is the inside of the machine, guys. This is what the coin mechanism looks behind the coin slots where you put the quarters in. Um, do I have any quarters in here right now? I don't think I do. I have one quarter. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys what happens when the uh, when I put a coin in here. Um, I put the coin into the coin slot. The coin goes falling down into here and it hits this play, this, this joy. This little lever right there, if you guys can see that. And that sets the play um, to the player. So every time a quarter goes into here, um, yeah, goes right here, falls into that little contraption right there, goes into the um, little white box and it hits this lever um, to set the plays. And there is the quarter right there. So that's the traditional uh, coin mechanism right there for you guys. Um, under here is where all the magic happens for uh, control wise. Um, that little switch right there that controls the drop claw button. Um, there's wires and everything like that. I do not know what they are for but <laughs> they run towards the joystick and the drop claw button. Um, this little I guess white rectangular area that is the joystick and that controls up down left and right of the claw and then on the other side you have the start um, button to start the to start the machine uh, start the play um, right here you got your Mars bill acceptor series 2000 um, st or standard um, bill acceptor uh, if you guys know how to remove it, it's pretty simple. You just push this back and pull back, pull up. Um, so yeah, push back and then pull the machine, pull the machine, pull the bill acceptor up. Oh, I do have a dollar in here so I can demonstrate you guys, demonstrate it for you guys. Um, but yeah, you can push, the bills go into here. You can push this lever down and take the bill out. Pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna show you guys um, what it does. At the moment, it does not read $5 bills. I don't know if that always did that or if that's something that just needs to be fixed. I do not know about that. I'm pretty sure it does work with $5 bills, but um, for now it only takes ones, which is perfectly fine because pe most people aren't gonna put a $5 bill in the machine. They'll probably have singles. So, turn around, dollar bill goes in the machine. Hey, sorry. Dollar bill goes into the machine, accepts it, puts four credits on. Um, it says seven because I put three on the play meter already. Goes into the Mars bill acceptor again to remove it. You put, you poke that blue thingy majig uh, out of the way, and then pull up, and there is your dollar bill. So simple enough. Um, it goes the price sheet return. Uh, this is the this is the door where. Um, every time you push it, it goes back where you can retrieve your prize. Um, so that's pretty cool. Like all machines have those. Um, a little something under there for the dollar bill acceptor. I think that reads whether it's a $5 bill or a dollar bill. Um, inside of here, this is where all the wires are and the power supply. This is kind of dark, but, um, this whole, wow, my voice is echoing. This whole kind of box controls the power supply and all the wires um, to control the machine other than the joystick and the drop claw buttons. These control like the uh, the whole wire and the 
gear and the you guys know what I'm talking about the motor that actually moves everything. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the play counter meter. Um, every time I hit this button right here, this well, the, not button but lever. Every time I pull down that lever, it sets a play there. And every time I do that, watch. Hang on a second. Let's watch. It puts on a play every time I do that. So currently, right now, it's at 173,845 plays. So this thing has been around quite a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's nothing to it, guys. Uh, it's inside the machine, oh, this is kind of like the base. Um, in here, I don't even know what's in here. This is like, oh, this is like the old. Um, oh, this is this is a form that they fill out based on how many dollars and coins have been in the machine, how many plays and stuff like that. This is what they fill out. I didn't even know that was in there. It's cool. Um, put that back in there for now. Now, um, if you guys ever want to adjust the strength of this claw machine, um, what you do is there's a cylinder base right here, and then there's these, you see these screws right here, these fat, there's like five, or there's six screws right there. See, one, two, three, four. There's two more back there. What you do is you unscrew these, like righty tighty, lefty loosey. Um, so once you unscrew them to the left, um, this will actually like pop out and you can actually move it. I'll show you guys right now. So. All the screws unscrewed this thing see how it you can like take it off um put it back on so once you unscrew all the screws you see this little metal plate comes out of place and you can actually move this see there's one two three four five or six springs and based on you can adjust where you want um so like if i wanted to put it on the i don't know let's say the fourth spring okay the claw is actually gonna close like it's gonna be really rigged like it's not even gonna close all the way but if I put it down all the way to the end it's gonna close like crazy watch how big this overbite is see that that's like enormous um, so yeah that's how to control the strength it's kind of weird it's not like you can just push a button and it changes the strength so that's a little bit of a pain but So yeah, that's how to control the strength. You just unscrew those screws and you can lower the base on the cylinder. Um, if you ever wanted to change the claw prongs, guys, it's kind of a long and hard process. You got to unscrew these screws right here. This screw, this screw, and this screw. And you got to take the prongs out. And then you got to insert the new prongs. Then screw these back on here. And also screw this to where the claw plate is. Um, so it's, that's kind of a pain, but... Uh, I'm gonna leave this on because when I put this machine on location, these is, I'm gonna have balls in here, so this is gonna be the claw to do the job. So that's the claw itself. Um, standard fluorescent lights right here, Philips USA 20 watt um, light bulbs right here, fluorescent lights. Um, so there you go. Uh, nothing too special right here. This, if you guys can see, I'm not really tall enough, but. Um, that's where the string is. Um, see, I'll show you here. I'll drop the claw. Um, I'm gonna do this kind of fast. See, so see, the, the the string goes winding around, and it um reels it back up. So standard gears right there and everything like that um but yeah there's the motor right over there that controls the machine that goes to the right um you get your standard wood base glass machine over there there's me hi um this is the wires that controls the lights of the bulbs um 
But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing... Oh, yeah. There's two more things I want to show you guys. This orange switch right here simply just turns the machine off. Um, you flip it to the left, that turns the machine off. And then obviously to turn it back on, push the switch to the right. And that resets the dive block scepter and coin mechanism. Um, now... <laughs> If you guys ever want to change the, uh, like, to make it 25 cents a play, 50 cents a play, 75 cents a play, or a dollar a play, or if you guys want to change the the time limit, so for like 20 seconds, 15 seconds, till, you, till the claw drops, um, what you do, it's kind of hard to see again, but there's this black button right here. What this does, you push it, and that resets the... Time and the play. See over here. So uh, the first mode gives you the um, seconds. So you can actually uh, change the seconds from 20 to 15. By the way, uh, you go down to move it down, the joystick down. And if you want to move the time limit up, you just simply go up. And it can go up to 30 seconds, I think. Um, you can do it a minute, but I'm just going to keep it at 20 seconds. Okay, so that's the first mode. That controls the time. Now, if you guys want to, um, control how much money per play it costs, push this joystick to the left, and that brings you to the second mode. And what this does is every play is 25 cents. So right now it's a 25 cents a play, and if I want to go up, it's 50 cents a play. 75 cents a play, and then a dollar a play. So every play you go up is a um, 25 cents. It costs more. And this actually goes up to like 50 if you want to have it like at like $10 a play, which is ridiculous. But I'm just going to keep it at a quarter a play so it's faster for me to put the credits on uh, for free play. So that's how you guys, that's how to um, control the time of the play and the price per play. Uh, to bring it back to normal is you push the start button. And that resets it. So now it's at 25 cents a play in 20 seconds. That's pretty much it, guys. This is the Oakmont Wood Mission Claw Machine. If you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. Again, I'm sure a lot a lot of you guys know more about this machine than I do. I just got this last week. So um, if, I, if I did something wrong or said something wrong, please correct me um, so I can tell you guys in a future video. Um, but I don't really know much about this machine other than it's awesome and I have one so you know <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed this uh kind of inside the, my machine tutorial um this is my Oakmont wood mission claw machine i bought it last week it's pretty awesome um i will just it's <laughs> it's just speechless it's it's awesome so thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe and comment for my claw machine videos and we'll see you guys next time